Toss it. Good morning, all you cool cats. Say what now? <laughs> it's day 12, and it's a big day for us. Yeah, we have a five hour drive. Well, first, we finally, after days of anticipation, are going to go to the underground mining tour here in Butte, America, as I've been corrected. Butte, America. Butte, America. And then Mike is right, then we got a five hour drive today, but we're going to, where are we going? Uh, Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Yellowstone Park today, that's right. The first major stop. And we might see, we might see, um, we might see, um, there's wow. a animal. We might see a what? A wild animal. Okay, so, I'm sure there will be lots of videos of wild animals or Mason jibber jabbering about wild animals. Oh yeah, by the way. Mama sprained her ankle. Yeah, we're hoping Mama's ankle starts feeling a little bit better. It is either feeling slightly better today or she's just pushing through it because that's what she does too. All right. What? I had to sleep with Merrick Man last night because he had a bad dream. Again. I slept, I slept on about four inches of the bed. Merrick had about two feet, and then Mama had about four feet. I had four inches. Do I look sleepy? I feel sleepy. All right, then. Until next time. <laughs> Until next time. What were we thinking? Cleaning up after your tour. Now, prior to unions stepping in and getting in place in the Butte area, you could be a worker working in a mine shaft for around up to 16 hours a day. There was no rules, no regulations. So you're underground for a long period of time. So whatever you wanted with you, you took with you in a mine shaft. You never came back to the surface during your shift. Now, well, they have to open that up. They found, uh, Wants to put back in here. Now, what makes these drums unique? You can see this cable goes over the top. The other one would have came out the bottom. So it's opposing forces, meaning as one's going up, the other one's going down, which also means like a counterbalance. We put your board up here in the center, and a, have you guys ever played on a seesaw? Yeah. And so it'd be kind of like a seesaw, so to speak. Now, the easiest way, you can get closer than that with the camera if you well, want. Well, I just, it, the, it's the reflection. It's on, yeah. I was gonna say, I can't help you a lot. No, on that part. no, it's on. So all your workers, material, and meals and everything would go in and out of the mine shaft at the ground level. Now your ore, when it came out of the mine shaft, it would go about halfway up the head frame. At that point, on this system, it's an automatic dump system. So as it goes up, the cage will automatically dump over into those funnels, and it's gravity fed back down to a main rail car. Those rail cars are mined up for miles, and then depending on which mine is what smelter those rail cars would go out to. The smelter for our mine actually was in Great Falls. Most of the copper smelting was done over in Anaconda. Now, in our mine, when we go outside, I'll point it out, we actually have an ore house. When the ore. We have our lights for that day. Yeah, go ahead and turn your lights on. Okay, now that we've gotten out of our echo chamber, when we first opened up as a museum, this did not exist. This did not get put in until 2005 by Volunteer Miners of Montana Tech. From 2005 to about 2015, roughly, we only did tours to the 65-foot level, uh, which never existed. And then eventually we got down to the 100-foot level. So as we're going into hard rock mining, the people who come in first is your drillers. So they're drilling the holes for the blasting. So they drill a pattern. They yell fire in the hole, get in the safe spot, set off the charge. The next crew to come in is your bar down crew. 
the bar down crew, what they do is they have these long poles and they're looking up at the ceiling and they're hitting the ceiling everywhere. They're looking for loose rocks. Is that why we have to have these? Mm -hmm. Uh, they're looking for loose rocks. We want those loose rocks on the ground. We feel a hollow thud. We know that that's loose. We want it on the ground. If we didn't, and we're down here working, you have something that weighs about 800 pounds come out. Oh. Bad air, keep out. So that's an original? That's an original sign, correct. Now this is your ore car. This could have been used in our mine back in the day. Purpose of an ore car is to move material around in a mine. Now the miners never wanted to send this to the surface unless we had to. So if we're clearing out a mine shaft, a, a drift is what they would call it, we would a lot of times have parts of a mine that was not being used anymore. So we'd backfill those mine shafts. If we had precious metal in it, we would take it, manually push it to the shaft station ring the bells and then it would go to the surface. It has an area back over here that would open up so that people would physically have to dump it out.
these are the Pioneer Mountains. I don't know any history on those, but I just know they're called the Pioneer Mountains. And so that should be all, so yeah. Montana is like known for their letters. This is the fourth letter we found. It's a B, the four letters are M, another M, L and B. There it is. Fifth letter, it's another M. Three M so far. Yeah. We're in the wild, wild west. Kinda. We're almost halfway through um the trip. We still have three hours left. But there's this pretty cool view right here. It's pretty small. Yeah, it's pretty small. But um, uh, but there's, yeah. look at those mountains. And there's some cool mountains. The pointy, pointy mountain. And we're going to Yellowstone. Is that right? Yes. And there's 17 more minutes until we arrive. We came from Butte. 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 And yeah, so we're just um, riding in the truck, and yeah, so there's the sun. Can I spit my gum out, mommy? And yeah, so yeah. And we're just in the truck now, and Dai is hey, right here, and Mommy's right here, and this is a National Parks book, and yeah. So, I don't know. So, yeah. This weird town. It's it's this little town and this little town. It's this little town and yeah. So this is this little town. And so we're just gonna head to Yellowstone in eleven minutes. And 
so yeah and yeah so 